welcome back to my channel i'm native new yorker here if you don't know already today i'm going to just be doing my makeup and chatting with y'all different topics and things like that um before we get into it make sure you like comment subscribe and don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend share this video why not okay so i don't know what makeup look i'm doing i'm just going to be just be doing my makeup like i'm not going with i'm not going with no type of guidance or nothing i'm just winging it you know what i'm saying before i have to go to work it seems like i live at my freaking job like i'm always going to work i'm always at my job and they're always trying me on some stupid shit and i still go it's okay it's okay so what i'm gonna be i'm i didn't eat today but i got a parfait from chick-fil-a and with some granolas real quick um this one i'm gonna bust down on excuse me if i sound like hella congested i my allergy kicking my freaking booty lately oh my god it's so pretty <laughs> i love um granolas i should have asked for two <laughs> that's one thing i love about chick-fil-a they don't charge you for sauces like why breaking and trying to charge me 75 cent for some damn sauce like i feel like the only place that's acceptable to charge me for sauce is zaxby's like it's understandable like you know what i mean because they actually give you mad sauce like their shit is deep and i don't know i just feel like they're worthy enough to charge me for sauce <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. So, yesterday, last night was the Super Bowl. And 50 something. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. But my team didn't go. My team is the Giants, of course. And I also fuck with the Jets. Suck my dick if you feel a type of way about me representing both. I don't care. Okay? <laughs> I really don't care. I was rooting for the eagles like i wanted the eagles to win because they're closer to new york you know it's philly like we fuck with philly too but oh shit <coughs> <coughs> now why did i do that shit so but yeah i that game was a really really good game until the end because i feel like the end was some bullshit and i'm not a freaking football fanatic like anymore not like how i used to be like back in the days like when i was in college and and shit like it was really bad like i really love football <laughs> there's a point in time like i really was fucking with the patriots too because they were just unstoppable which but um I can't, you know, you can't be a bad bandwagon. You gotta stick with your team. You gotta stick beside your teams or whatever. Why did I do that, child? <laughs> but they did really good. They did really good. Like every time I checked the scoreboard, they were tied, 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 tied. One team scored, the other team scored. Like, they, they did really, really good. And they played their fucking asses off. Like, they really did. And, um, I just feel like at the end, though, that was really some bullshit. I feel like that last call about holding was some BS. Because <laughs> why are you doing that? At, that? at that moment, I knew it was a setup. It was a setup. <laughs> it's rigged. This, this shit is rigged. <laughs> no cap like honestly i feel like they just should have just went into ot and see who really deserved to win that super bowl you know what i'm saying they just kicked it in on some lame shit like that's i didn't fight hard enough for me at the end like i wasn't working like they was working but you feel me like what 
that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. I couldn't believe that. I was at work. I was stuck at work, first of all, yesterday, y'all. Someone decided that they wanted to call off work and <laughs> not notify anybody. And I had to pull a double. Mind you, I just did a double like three days ago. I meant three. This is my third double. This is my third double. Like, in like a week or two span. Dang, I kind of messed up my forehead. Let's see if I can blend that in. I put my foundation on first because I know y'all don't wanna, want me to be talking to y'all on a pale face. <laughs> With all that setting powder on. <clears throat> but I'm about to do an eye look. I don't know. I don't know what eye look I'm about to do, but we're about to figure it out. So, yeah, I just thought that was like some crazy ass. That was a crazy ass game. They should have just went into OT, see who and see who really deserved that freaking um the freaking title. Like, I felt so bad for them boys. Like, I felt so bad. I think somebody was crying and shit, and I would be crying too. And I hope nobody make fun of him for crying because y'all wasn't out there on that motherfucking field. Y'all wasn't in the y'all wasn't out there. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, that was that was kind of crazy. I'm using this Juvia palette. Juvia's place palette. The Nubian too. So halftime. Obviously, that's what a lot of people was waiting on and stuff. Was halftime. And I thought Rihanna looked amazing. Was it me or was at first was I I was questioning like is she a partner? But at the end I'm like I kinda peeped her like slick rub her belly on some shit. Like you know how pregnant women be putting their hand on their stomach, like you could tell like they're pregnant. Like I peeped, I was like, Oh my gosh, uh, that is amazing. <laughs> Congratulations to freaking her. What an entrance. She didn't need nobody else to come, come come up there and collab with her. That baby came up there and collab. That was her collaboration, that baby. Okay? <laughs> that baby was her collaboration. <laughs> it was, like, really amazing. Like, that was really, really dope as fuck. And congratulations to her. I hope she has a girl. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm slick psychic. I am psychic. And I had seen months before she came out and said that she was pregnant. I seen in a dream that she was pregnant. And I'm like, what the freak? Rihanna's pregnant? And I remember going to Ashley and I was like, bro, Rihanna's pregnant. I just seen it in my dream. Da, 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 da. And she's like, no, she's not. No, she's not. I'm like, no, dead ass for real. Like, she dead ass is. I seen it in my dream. And when I have dreams, they come true. And I seen that shit. And then two months later, two months later, it came out that she was pregnant. I was like, bitch, I told you. I know I wasn't. I know myself. And I know. I know. Bitch, I know everything. Like, and I find out everything. So, you nothing to tell me that that lady was not pregnant. <laughs> so, yeah, she was like, she tried to like fucking brush me off on some yeah I guess he was right but I didn't know what to do with that information I don't know why I had a dream on that but maybe that was just spirit showing me that I'm psychic for real <laughs> which I already knew that I already knew that like prior like years ago because I always from the dreams that I had before, and they just come to life. But anyways, this is not about dreams. This is about the Super Bowl halftime show. So anyways, that's just a fun fact about me, okay? I don't know if I really like this. I don't know what I'm doing. I really not, I'm really not that good at eyeshadow and stuff. That's why I'm on here practicing with y'all right now. I also don't really care for doing eyeshadows because like this should be taking mad long. And y'all bitches are like mad fucking talented because how the fuck do y'all sit here and do all this shit all the time? Do this shit all the time? Y'all have nothing but time on your hands. And 
I support it. I'm here for it, honestly. Like, if I didn't have a job, I'd probably be doing this every day. Perfecting my craft. Oh, my eyeshadow. But anyways, I'm sorry. I keep getting on topic, y'all. So, boom. She looked amazing. She looked so gorgeous. She did really well. I'm surprised she didn't have, like, a break where she went off to have, like, a dress change. Or to, like, catch her uh, catch her breath or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't look tired. The face was beat, of fucking course, because we love Fenty over here. Like, fuck. The only thing that I really didn't fucking care about was the dancers in the background. Like, what the fuck was that? Like... I give credit to Yana, first off, for even coming out there and just like, yo, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Well, for like five minutes, I was in shit. But I didn't really fuck with the dancers. They were, I didn't, I don't know. It was just something about like the choreography. Like the choreography, I did not care for. Like it was trash. It was trash to me. Like, I'm like, I could have, I could have taught something better than that on some shit that I was like, because I'm a dancer too. Okay, baby, if you didn't know, native New Yorker is extremely talented. Like, I am a jack of all trades and I know how to do everything. Bitch. Yes, I know how to dance too. Okay, they could have called me. They could have emailed me, sent me an email and be like, hey, native, I need you for the Super Bowl to be a choreographer for the Super Bowl. Because, what the fuck was that? Yeah, I, I wasn't really fucking with the, um, all that hip thrusting, all of that extra shit. Like, that was, that was OD. <laughs> like, I just felt like they did carry that show, but it wasn't really needed. Like, all of the... They just look crazy. They just look really insane to me. Like there was an angle where somebody was just thrusting in the air, laying on the floor on um, one of those things that was in the air. And I'm just like, what the freak is that? Like be so fucking for real. Be so fucking for real. <laughs> I wasn't fucking with it. I wasn't fucking with that. That's just, these are just my opinions. Like. And I'm not trying to discredit Riri from shit because she was fire. I just did not like the dancers and the choreographer. Like, I don't know. That's just my opinion, though, y'all. I just really didn't care too much more. The hip thrusters and then the outfits. I don't know. Twitter is a hot ass mess. It was just saying, like, those people there look like a bunch of sperm cells and i was just like bro y'all y'all dragging it they literally are just evil on there but you gotta have a heart to be on twitter you gotta have a heart to be on the internet in general because there's a lot of evil ass people like mean ass people on the internet that just be saying a lot of ruthless shit. and if you don't have mentally strong internet could really i could see how i could see how people like aren't alive themselves because of the internet because of what somebody said over the internet like i literally can see because you gotta have number one a sense of humor you can't let too much shit get to you you have to have like a really strong mental like because the internet, people on the internet just say the meanest things. They do not care, y'all. I be seeing people just say just things about people they don't know, like spreading rumors. And it's so easy to spread a rumor. And you have like a lot of gullible people that believe anything and everything that they see. I have a sense of humor and I actually have a sense of like dark humor in a sense i i get dark humor like i understand it i don't know that's a virgo thing but i don't know i just get i just get it i just get it and <laughs> um a lot of things are funny to me 
too probably because i don't take a lot i don't take a lot of shit serious especially like the internet with shit over the internet i don't take that shit serious y'all i don't take i don't take it serious I don't serious to the point where it's gonna hurt my feelings or you know people like make me sad like nobody over the internet can make me feel the type of way because I have a lot of confidence like I have so much confidence within myself like I love everything about me everything about me I love my hair I love the fact that I have no eyebrows and I could do my eye. I have very little eyebrows. I have eyebrows. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I have eyebrows. But I have little eyebrows. I meant thin eyebrows. So I could do my eyebrows thick. I could do them any color that I want. You know what I'm saying? I love my eyes. I love my smile. I love my crooked teeth. I love everything. I love everything about me. I love my skin complexion. I love my nose. There's... I love every single part of my body. And I feel like confidence is very important to have. There's nothing nobody can say about you that should hurt your feelings if you don't already know that. I have a podcast, by the way. It's called One With The Sun Podcast. And my first episode is about confidence. Talk about a couple of things that you can do to um, gain your confidence back up. Um, I'll link it below, but it's on Spotify and Anchor right now. I'm working on other ways, and it's just audio right now until I build my studio where I can do visuals. But yeah, definitely go check it out. It's called One With The Sun Podcast, and it's on Instagram too. Um, and I talk about a lot of different things. But anyways... Oh. Oh. This is cute. But yes, it's very important to have confidence. And I feel like if you're confident, it's not the best. Because, you know, sometimes we don't always feel confident. Like, you know, we have our days. We have our days. But I'm just saying, me overall... Like, I'm very confident within myself. And sometimes my confidence intimidate um, people that's, that's, that's really insecure. So that's a lot of, that's kind of the reason why I be to myself a lot of times. Because a lot of the women out here, they're very insecure. Like, very. And that's dangerous to be around because that causes jealousy and... Don't nobody wanna wanna be around no jealous ass bitch. But anyways, if you feel like your confidence isn't the best, isn't like there, I feel like you should definitely take a break from the internet for a while because um it's dangerous. Like it can make you feel even more shitty than you already feel, you know. And then now a lot of times people surround like their well their worth with likes and shit and views and shit and it's really sad to see this generation is trash it's embarrassing but it's true that's just the world we live in right now so if you're not getting a lot of views and likes and things like that people will feel like they're not worthy enough like i should do half and half that's something. What color should I do? I don't know. It's crazy, but it's true. <laughs> For real. But yeah, the internet is really dangerous. And they was just saying a lot of hateful things. I have nothing hateful to say about Rihanna at all. Because that's my girl for life. And I'm going to stick beside her regardless. If she never put out another album or song again, I still fuck with her. And I'm going to rock her old shit. Okay? So the wheels fall off. And if the wheels fall off, bitch, we're going to add some new ones on there. We're going to add a spare tire on that bitch. Fuck is she talking about? <laughs> but yeah, she looked amazing. And it was I'm just really glad to see her. Really, really glad to see her again to perform like that was really um amazing to see for real 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Another thing that was crazy big on Twitter yesterday was the whole DDG and Haley and Krishan and Ruby Rose thing. Y'all, I just... The situation with the girls on Twitter right now is a mess. And I'm not the one, I don't really care for none of that. I don't be caring for none of that shit. Like, celebrity gossip and shit. Like, I really don't be giving a fuck about none of that shit. But I got something to say on this one here. And I just feel like... It's stupid. Like, I feel like you wouldn't expose nobody that you don't care about. Let's just start there. So I guess Ruby Rose had, like, posted, like, some DMs that DDG was in her DMs or whatever, whatever. And I guess because she was upset or something like that because of... He posted a picture or video of Haley in her shirt. That is the most craziest thing ever, sis. You look, Ruby. Oh, uh, here she go, y'all. Here she go, y'all. Please go on somewhere, like for real. You looking crazy because you have all this money, supposedly, right? And you're upset that somebody's wearing your shirt. I don't know if this is true or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she was just trying to stir up things or just whatever the case. I don't fucking know, but I feel like she has to have feelings for DDG still because the fact that you went out your way to say this. Me, if I was a celebrity, I would be like Beyonce. <laughs> Oh God, because I don't like my, I'll be so private. Like y'all really wouldn't know what really goes on between me and my nigga unless I make a song about it or some shit. You feel me? I'm never ever doing no stupid shit like that. Personally, to me, that's childish. That's like middle school. Like who still does that? You feel me? Like why are you still doing that at this big age? That just shows like maturity and stuff, but me being petty like i'm the petty queen and i honestly i would do something petty like that if i still cared about my ex you feel me like i'm gonna be petty i'm about to add it whole lot if i still care like you be in my bed giving me some good stuff Corey. You gotta still care about this man. Like you still, you still have feelings for this man. If you go out your way to do some shit like that, like what are you doing? You feel me? That's just mad. You just don't do that. If you say you don't really care about this man, I mean, like I'm doing that if I still care about the nigga. I'm not doing that if I really don't care about it no more. Like, it's whatever. Like, ha, I peep that she still have my shirt on. But, bitch, I could go get the same shirt again. Or another shirt. Like, let's be fucking for real. Like, it was bigger than that. Either they was dating, I mean, messing around or something like that. And, you know, he's telling her sweet nothings. Or she feels like she wants to be relevant again that's probably why that doesn't happen but i don't agree with that like i think that's kind of fucked up and if you was a real ass nigga like if you was a real ass woman like i would come to sis in private like i nobody would know you feel me like if he's in my DMs for real, if somebody's nigga is in my DMs right now and I actually like the girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm pulling the girl to the side and I'm letting her know like, yo, you, your nigga is doing X, Y, and Z. Here's the proof. 
You know what I'm saying? You might want to check him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I feel like the only reason why she exposed it and, like, put it on the internet is, one, because she still care. Two, she probably wants to be a little more relevant. I don't know if people still talking about her or even listening to her music or anything like that. But if she was real, like, she would have pulled Haley to the side and we would not be talking about this right now. Like, why are you doing that? Girl, it's Rihanna's show right now. Like, why are you doing that right now? Like, girl, don't nobody care. <laughs> That's how I felt yesterday. Like, this is about Rihanna. This is Rihanna's Super Bowl right now. Okay? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? <laughs> and how dare the NFL have the nerve to interrupt a Rihanna's concert with some damn football. Like, that was a Rihanna concert right there. And to me, why would she do that when, when, <laughs> come on. Girl, we not thinking about that. We don't care about nothing about no DDG, bitch. We trying to see Rihanna right now. This is all we care about right now. That shit is crazy, and I feel bad for Haley that her her name is all on the internet or tied to some bullshit, like some foolishness. And then on top of that, today I'm on Twitter and I see that Krishan made made her do that or told her Ruby Rose to do that shit. What? That shit is crazy. This generation now is just so easily influenced and it's very like, it's kind of cringy. It's very cringy. Like, I hate the fact that somebody could tell you to do something and you'll do it and you believe it to be true without doing your research, without asking an adult or without acting like, you know, somebody with experience who has a good reputation like i'm sorry but i'm not asking krishan about anything on relationship advice on if i should do anything if i should post anything because she exposes herself you know and that's not me <laughs> like it's so many other people like if i have money if i have status that wouldn't be somebody i would go to and ask if i should do something or advice on anything you know and I feel like why can somebody convince you to I don't know and then today I also seen that Blueface is like exposing Krishan like saying how she's fake and she be talking about people behind their back and stuff and I'm just like damn this is a hot mess this is a hot ass mess and this is too much right now for me. Like, I just can't keep up. This is a deep. This is too much, honey. This is just way too much. And I don't know. I just don't feel like exposing people is just the way to go. Like, for what? What are you gaining from that? Why aren't y'all making music? Why aren't y'all making music right now? Like, where's your music at? Where's the music? What are you doing? <laughs> Gosh, it is so cute. It came out so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these. If you want me to do another um, a certain makeup look, hit me up on my Instagram and send a look to me. I'm gonna recreate it and things like that. And yeah, I'm feeling really flirtatious. I'm feeling really spicy. I'm feeling really, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really, yeah. Like I'm feeling myself right now because I look good. Shit, I mean, you see, you spicy just how I like them. You got me loving you just off how you ride it. Girl, take time, man. Wind your body with me. You see, you spicy just how I need you. That's why these other hating bitches want to be you. I do anything to please you. Ah! I cannot wait till Capella drop his freaking album because that's gonna be one of my intro songs to my YouTube channel. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> but anyways, but yeah, y'all, thank y'all for watching and tuning in and just hearing me rant about things that just I things I just be thinking about. 
like comment subscribe don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend share this video okay pre i'll see y'all next time peace